Hi everyone, Natalie Uterno here. I thought I would take this opportunity to do a quick little explanation of the tools that you need when you're cleaning your vehicle. When you're doing the outside of your vehicle, you basically need the outdoor set and we're gonna go over that right now so that I can show you. There are a few different pieces. One of the pieces is the car glove that you're getting. So it's exactly the same thing on both sides. This is what you need to wash the painted surface of your vehicle, okay? So that's uh, glove number one. The other glove that you can use is also this one here, which is the harder working fiber. See how it's got a darker gray as opposed to the light gray? So the darker the color, the harder the clean. So in this case, it also has a backside that is a really hard scratchy. So I could do that on the on my tire edges, like inside the tire rim, also the base board, you know where the baseboard is where you step on. I could do that. I can also do, if I needed to, scrubbing of the mats down on the ground where the carpet area is. So you could use this one for that. So this is the extreme outdoor glove. So I'm gonna show you how to do the outside of my vehicle. So I'm not gonna need this right now. So I'll put that aside. So this is the glove that I'm gonna be using, but you also need your annual fill. So the annual fill is the drying fiber. This is the drying fiber that you need to remove the water that's on your surface. But before you wash your vehicle, you also need to make sure that you spray it down because you want it to be able to take off any of the sand and um, maybe some of the rocks and stuff that could be sort of on this because this is super dirty. So you're gonna rinse this with water before you use the glove. Okay, so those are the tips that you need to do. Um, another tool that you can also use is the scrubby. So the scrubby has a scratchy side at the back and you're able to use this to clean off your tires, the, 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 the trim around the edges. So the same thing as you would the glove. The only thing is it's just a smaller size. So it's exact same fiber, just smaller. We also, I don't have one with me, but we also have a new tool, which is a wand. So it's a flexi tool. It's like the flexi tool in the living room. Um, and there's one in the bathroom as well, but now there's one that you, it's a flexi tool that you can actually use in your tires or anywhere that you need to really reach down on the edges of the door and stuff like that. So that is coming soon. I don't have one to demo it, but is being announced um, this month and it's going to be amazing. So I don't have it, but this is the other tool that you can use for that. So um, if you have the window combi, the window combi is amazing for you to do all of your windows of your vehicle so keep this handy you also have the annual fill which is also the uh, window annual fill so that you can dry off your windows as well so if you're only doing your windows of your vehicle you can use this okay um, another handy fiber that I keep with me all the time is this uh, living fiber which actually has longer hairs so if you see on here see the little hairs on there this is a really good pickup and it's actually one that I use if I am using more water because it does pick up a lot of water as well and a lot of um, dirt if there's more dirt that needs to be picked up instead of using my annual fill okay so that is the part of the living room set that I always take with me and the reason why I wanted to talk about the living side is because these pieces that are in the living zone are amazing for inside your vehicle so this would be if you have uh, leather or fabric seats, you're gonna be using this with water. If you have any wood trim inside of your um, vehicle or also dashboard, this is amazing to clean your dash. So the dash, you could use this and this one for your uh, textiled fibers inside of your vehicle. Another one is the Strong Living Glove, which is also the same as on the window combi, but I love using this inside my vehicle for those harder edges, so I do that. And on the back side, there's also uh, the same as the living cloth that I showed you earlier with those long fibers. This is amazing as well if you need to really do a lot of water because it will pick up more water and more dirt. So that one also. But the dust glove is amazing inside your vehicle. So if you've got all that dust layer on top of your um, your dashboard and things like that, even inside your mirror inside a vehicle, because if you clean with annual, you're not going to have any residue from any soap and things like that so this is a really great one to have inside your vehicle for dusting so if you've got that dust on your panel there this is amazing for that so quick little tutorial on that so now what I'm going to do is move this basket away and I'm going to show you how to clean this here and if you do not have the new pump bottle it's amazing it's one full liter 
it is based on a trigger. Um, there's a trigger and the water comes out like that, but I can spray upside down. So I'm gonna spray here to show you. See how I can do this? So you can spray upside down, which is great. So if kids are helping you, this is amazing. You can adjust this to do a small mist. So you can do like a spray, but if you wanted to do more water, you can spray like that. So do you see how it keeps coming out and I haven't even pumped it yet because I pumped it earlier and all you need to do is pump maybe four or five times depending on how much water you have in here because you're removing the air that's in here and then you get to use this trigger to clean. So I'm going to move these away and show you how to do this. So I'll take this away and this way. There we go. So your um, car glove, a bit of dirt here. So your car glove is all you need. So you can spray your glove when you're getting to wash it. But first I'm going to do a spray off any of the hard sand and stones and stuff that might be on here. Okay. So there we go. So that was step number one, spray with some water. And I'm going to take my glove and I'm going to spray some water on my glove. Again, this spray nozzle is so amazing. I really only typically use a one liter to do my whole truck from top to bottom. Not inside, but top to bottom, I use one liter. So if you use a hose and you use soaps and all those other things, really consider switching to annual because it's so great for the environment. I'm here in beautiful cottage country, like I said earlier, and there's nothing better for me than to be able to save on water and um, no time, it takes no time. Okay, so let's clean this off. So, I washed, removed all the dirt there, rinse with water, and then I'm gonna take my annual film if I wanted to take this to remove some of that excess water, I could definitely do that with this living fiber. So if you're doing a whole vehicle, you might want to bring that out if you have it. Oops. And then you're going to dry behind using your annual Your annual will continue to dry. So you're just going to take this, dry behind, and you will have a perfectly shiny vehicle. So I sometimes do this get the air to dry it for us and there we go here is my clean vehicle without any dirt and it is that easy so call me let me know if you don't have this outdoor set you will want to get this for your vehicle and if you have patio furniture decking you need this one for all of that patio furniture the storage bins all that stuff this is amazing for that and so the kit you can buy uh, as a kit and you can buy each individually if you already have this but you don't have this reach out and um, I will be able to help you out so I'm going to finish my truck now and have a great day